Good morning, like no. Today we're going to Penang. We're flying at night. See you there. In this episode of Fork in the Road, we spent three full days eating our way through Penang. In Malaysia, each city has a distinct flavour. KL is oozing with life from dawn to dusk. Sarawak simmers on the coastline and is full of nature. And Penang, well, we believe it's the mecca of foodies and the people here take food very seriously. Be sure to save this list cause here's what to eat and where to go in Malaysia Penang. First on the list on our first day, Nasi Lemak from Ali Duan Pisang Nasi Lemak in the CBD of Georgetown. This one, the locals say is the best in town leh. The coconut rice is wrapped in banana leaf and topped with a spicy sambal. Plus, they have 6 different toppings to choose from. And ho, they even got recommended by the Michelin guide you know. Luckily, each packet is so small, we can order more than one and try them all. So this is Ali Daun Pisang Nasi Lemak. Yeah. It comes in this small packet. And it looks very small. Yeah, that's why you order five, right? Yeah, it seems like I can eat all. My family comes from Penang. Every morning, there's somebody who will walk around the kampong and sell this kind of nasi lemak. Okay, this is the first time I'm having nasi lemak with salted fish. So I'm going to try it. Okay, the samba is amazing. Wow, so much flavor. There's a lot of spices inside. I can eat this all day, man. Oh, the sauce is very nice. I love it. The rice, the texture is actually very nice, very fluffy. Perfect for a small light breakfast. So, right after eating a bit too many packets of nasi lemak, we needed to digest. So, we headed over to Chu Jetty, the biggest and oldest kind jetty in Penang. It's also the most happening one out of the six waterfront settlements. You gotta see it, man. It's built on stilts and has this unique mix of old and new. There are even residents and shops selling all kinds of stuff right at their doorstep. You can find homemade snacks, handicrafts and all sorts of knickknacks. Walking around was nice, but ho, the weather very hot. Just nice, there was a dessert shop just next to Chu Jetty. What do you want? I want the chendol. I get one nice kacang. In Penang, you can easily spot this kind of dessert pop-up stores along the roadside selling sweet shaved ice. In this weather, uh, it's damn short. Rice having ice kacang. And for my jello, it's just green bean and coconut milk. Wow. Try it, try it. Try it. And there's a certain taste to this uh, syrup. It's just that sassy. Yes, we are right. There's sassy inside the ice kacang. But overall, very good dessert. Very cool dessert from the hot weather like English and Yeah. And when the sun set, it's time to heat up the night market. Our next stop is there. Can't wait to check out all the stores and see what kind of goodies they got. The night market in Ping Nang is definitely a must visit for anyone who loves food and shopping. Ah. Every single day from Monday to Sunday, there's a different night market at different location. We are out at Jelutong Night Market. As foodies, ah, we all know where to go when the sun sets. Night markets are the best place to go for street food and shopping. Jelutong Night Market is a Friday market. Dim sum, ayam goreng, satay, desserts. You want it, you can have it. This Friday market is one of the most bustling markets because uh, it's by locals for locals. Good morning, Lionel. Morning, Ryan. Quite a cold morning, lah. Huh, yeah, I love dim sum in the morning. My kids will say, uh, it will warm my cold heart. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to eat? They are har kao and also I want to try the pork ribs. I want to try the har kao and the chicken feet. Apparently the chicken feet down there are very popular. Have you ever heard of Maxim Dim Sum in Penang or not? It's like one of the most famous Dim Sum places around leh. But get this, unlike in Singapore, ah, Dim Sum is actually a breakfast thing over here. Can you believe it? Anyway, when you get here, you gotta pick out the Dim Sum you want and give them your card to keep track of your order. But be prepared to jostle with the crowd for a table man. It can get pretty packed you know. But don't worry, the dim sum is legit worth the wait lah. Today we have quite a spread lah. I want my chicken feet. Ching ching. Mm. It's nice. I mean the flavours is good, not too spicy, a bit sweet. Eat dim sum right, and you need their tea. Okay, so what's next? So now we're going to try the steamed pork ribs in black bean sauce. 
Mm. Yeah, very nice. Right? Very tender. In Malaysia, right, the flavours is more uh, intense. Ha kao. Wow, oh, check out the prawns. Yeah, it's quite short, yeah. The skin is a bit thick lah. Yeah, but because your prawn very big, you got enough of your skin and you got enough of your prawn. Mm. Next one we have to do is the siu mai. You know, want to see whether how good your team sa is, right? For me, uh, I judge by their ha kao and their siu mai. And what they put inside. Mm. Mm. Really packed with me. I must say that the siu mai pass. Look at our table. Damn shook, right? The chi chong fan here is served Hong Kong style. The exo sauce is so savoury and spicy. There's no better way to end a dim sum breakfast like biting a damn hot liu sha pao that uh, almost burned my mouth. Wow, I tell you, this was so gooey and it was oozing with custard. Cheers. Ching ching. So, uh, up next on our second day of eating, Ping Nang's own laksa from Aye Itam. It's been a favourite since like 1955, can you imagine? The fish and tamarind soup base is super flavourful and the thick rice noodles just soak up all that goodness. You know, after eating everything together, right, you have crunchy texture from the cucumber. You got the fragrance of the laksa leaf, the ginger flower. You can taste the hint of the heiko, which is the prawn paste. It's not that sour and we tasted a hint of pineapple at the back. That's why we don't see the pineapple on the soup. When they cook the fish, uh, they grate in the pineapple also. Ah, okay. The soup is so very clear. Mm. I always thought that asam laksa would be very strong tamarind flavour. A lot of spices yeah. blended in together. But it's sweeter. Lor. Yep. It's not sour as I expected it to be. We are going to go and have some sotong. Mi sotong. Very mamak style based on what I know. It's unique to Penang, is it mi sotong? Definitely Singapore don't have, right? Let's find out later. Hey, you know how Penang is like super famous for nasi kanda and all that, right? But guess what? The mi goreng mamak is like local favourite here. And they got this one type of mi goreng mamak called mi sotong. It's only found in Penang. It's damn shock, man. The noodles are chewy, the sauce is spicy, and the sotong. Oh, so tender. You won't even believe it. It's the perfect comfort food. Lah. So, if you ever find yourself in Penang, make sure you try the mi sotong, okay? Confirm you won't regret it one. So this is mi goreng. After that, there is a sauce that they put on top and then there is this sotong bits. The mi goreng is your typical mi goreng stuff that you have inside. Lah. Okay, I try first. Lah. Wow, very hot and spicy. See the sauce, wow, damn spicy. The sauce is sweet. Not yeah, the sauce is slightly sweeter. Mm. The spice is good. Lah. It's really very typical, normal mamak store. What impresses me the most is that they put the sotong or cuttlefish, you know, mix with the sauce, then they just pour it on top. And you just mix it up and eat it. Uh, quite a unique way of eating. Lah. You know what this is good for? It's like when you go to a club, then after you get drunk, already, then after you know, you just come out. Wrong place, this, 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 it's not all Malay. I know, I know. After you look, then you go to the... Where? Ah, spice, ah, spice, 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 spice. Then this one sobers you up. For lunch, we are going to have Peranakan food. Oh, see you Peranakan food? Yes. Ivy's Nyonya Cuisine. So, after three breakfasts, it's time for lunch. Ivy's is a family-run restaurant that serves up some seriously good Peranakan food. And the best part, is all like home cooking style. So, you know it's going to be legit. If you're ever in the area, you got to check out Ivy's. It's like the perfect spot for low-key lunch with your friends or fam. Trust me, you won't regret it. These are some of the dishes that they have. It's asam fish, heavy yam, fish maw, capitan chicken, and juhu cha. During Chinese New Year, my great grandmother will do this also. This is something I'm not familiar with because noya curry is usually very watery. Like, like this orange? Yeah, right? but this is very red. I want to try the heavy yam. Huh? Oh, it's it like that one. This taste is very familiar. Ours is a bit more spicy, but it's also very fragrant. Try the fish maw. It's very light, very short. Very well seasoned. Oh, it's very nice. They use the cabbage, right? If you taste very nice, subtle cabbage taste. This one, asam fish, uh, must be sour, it's not too spicy. It's not spicy. Spice is a bad. It's very fragrant because they, I think they, the rumpa, they fry very nicely. I want to try this the chicken capitan. Very similar to the nanoya curry. It's really the taste of my childhood. So they braise this for another one hour or two hours. I like the, the soup. I love the chicken. So this is your favourite? Yeah, this is my favourite. So we finish our meal. Yeah. And then later we have some Nyonya dessert. Yeah, the one I'm waiting for. Yeah. So I think we managed to find three desserts which are quite traditional. Mm. Nyonya kueh. Favorite, favorite, favorite. All three are my favorites. Okay, so this is actually baked tapioca cake. 
and it's quite dense. It's yeah, quite it's very dense. dense. Yeah. Wow, the right amount of sweetness, not very overwhelming. It's very soft. You know, sometimes they tend to overcook this. Uh. Oh, yeah, it's sweet. <clears throat> but the inside, the middle part is not very sweet, it's just yeah. nice. This is glutinous rice. They use the colouring from the blue pea flour. After they will put kaya. Oh yeah. Very mm. oh, yeah, nice. Try. You know, it could be a bit of salt. It's very a bit salty la. Oh my god. Yeah, it's quite short. Ah, it's very short. And this is steamed tapioca with grated coconut. I love this. This one, if you want it sweeter, you can eat it with the gula melaka. Is it gula melaka? Yes, gula melaka. Okay, now I want to try the pulo hitam with the longan. Mm. Oh my god. Not too sweet. And just nice. Coconut is on point. Red bean soup with longan and orange peel. It makes it very nice, very fragrant. You have that very citrusy flavor into the soup. Yeah, so when you taste it, like you taste a bit of orange. But I like it because it's very light. What's your favorite? Among all the dessert, my favorite is actually this one. Uh, Ivy, right? It's one of the places that I think I will come back again if I ever um, drop by to Penang. After that cozy Pranakan restaurant, it's time to head back to the streets. Now for some rojak from this little family business called Hock Seng Rojak King. Let me tell you, uh, this place is the real deal. They are known for their rojak, which they pair with this super thick malt sugar paste. Apparently, they have been around for like 40 years or something, and people are legit willing to wait in line for up to an hour just to get their hands on one bowl. But hey, it's worth it. The rojak here is something very original. So, if you're a fan of rojak, you gotta check out Hock Seng Rojak King. Just across the street from here is Achai Rojak. Their rojak is a perfect mix of fresh fruits, cuttlefish, and crispy yuta kueh all covered in their homemade rojak sauce and topped with loads of crushed peanuts. Yeah, let's try it, ah. mm. Mm. Very sweet. Not your typical rojak. Mm. I'm okay with the early taste of it, which is the normal sauce, mm. but then the Caramatic sweetness yeah. just lingers. You don't think it's time you eat a bit, it's very jelly, right? Mm. Slightly. Because the sauce is very thick. Mm. Well, let's try it. I've never had balanong before, actually. Uh, you can try. Mm. The sauce is different, ah. Huh? Hey, it's spicy though. I like the fact that they use pineapple. This is closer to home than that. But mm. I think it's very popular. La. Mm. I still prefer this la, mm. over that. I feel that like I ate this some more, I won't jala. I feel I eat that one, one or two more, more I'm done already. No, because of the caramel. Oh, but long is nice. Oh, I tasted uh, unripe mango. You prefer? Mm. I prefer this one. This one, okay. La. Now, it's time for dinner at Labu Pressgrave. First up, we have 888 Hokkien Mee. Serving up steaming hot bowls of noodles filled to the brim with pork slices, roasted pork, shrimps, boiled eggs and bean sprouts in their signature prawn soup that bombs the bed. And of course, we can't just have one dish at the table, right? Just next to it is Ashen Duck Egg Char Kway Teow. You don't want to miss out their mouth-watering stir-fried noodles cooked over charcoal fire, giving it the extra smoky flavour. And the best part is topped with a sunny set up duck egg, making it a must-try dish in Penang. Finally, I'm looking at the uh, char kway teow with duck egg. It's very yellow. We've been trying to find this and what we have here is prawn mee. Oh, it looks very appetizing. It looks spicy to me. And the best part is I'm looking at shioba, at the pork rib. Yeah, the rib, the rib wow, looks damn good. Looks la. damn good. And the prawn, oh my god, the, the shioba looks so good. La. It looks very fat, look, fat, yeah, fattish. Not oh, fattish, it sounds very wrong. Fatty. Fatty. Yeah, very fatty. Yeah, yeah. So I think let's try the char kway teow first. I'm gonna break the egg first. I'm gonna try what the duck egg tastes like. It tastes like normal chicken egg. Similar, but the yolk is thicker, creamy. One thing about this chakwetia, right, is that ours is black. This is brownish, brownish in color. So they don't really add a lot of the dark, dark soy sauce. They're very generous with the dark chong, and they never overdo the prawns. But the dark eggs, I kind of like it. So here we have the triple egg prawn noodle. Prawn noodles, right, usually the first thing you do is you taste the soup. If the soup is good, uh, then the entire dish will be complete. It's like a prawn dish. Very crispy skin. Very fatty. Just nice. I like it. It's very satisfying for me. Okay. I never tasted the good prawn noodles like that. I think it's a good bowl of prawn meat. Yeah. And also char kway teow. I think this is very, very uh, special. Which one would you prefer? If I come here, definitely I will want to eat the char kway teow. Their prawns is really very fresh. Very succulent. Day 2 is almost over but we still have places to go and things to eat. It's a Saturday night, and the place to be is at Sunai Dua Night Market. Here, you can find all sorts of Malaysian, Chinese and Indian snacks, sure to satisfy your cravings. 
But uh, what we're really here for is the famous Man Burger. The locals swear by this burger. Some of them even say this is better than McDonald's. They may look basic, but don't let the looks deceive you. We order the normal burger and the Pattaya style burger, which is a normal burger wrapped entirely with an egg. These burgers were saucy, very saucy, especially the Pattaya style burger because all that juice and chub is locked in. Imagine a fresh rumbly burger, meat patties that tasted homemade, stacked with lettuce, cucumber and tomatoes that were actually freshly cut. You can see why the locals love this burger. Good burger. It's the last day and we have a few moments to chow down before our flight. We are hitting up this legendary Gemas Road Roti Chanai. Hands down, the go-to spot for Roti Chanai in Penang. This store has been serving up killer roti since 94 and it's always packed with people. You gotta try their signature Roti Chanai with a crispy fried egg, a slice of cheese and smothered in curry and dal. It's just next level lah. So we are having some special roti prata mm. which inside is prata and then there's chicken or beef a slice of cheese on top and egg and it's all covered with gravy Yeah, that's the thing that I when I first saw this is very different though. Singapore they have Oh really? Yeah They put everything together? It's like banjie which is flat so they flat the whole thing with curry and gravy, cheese I really didn't know they had, they had this kind of thing because when I eat my prata right, it's usually the it's chicken a very typical on one the side one yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. Just by looking at it, right? I feel very hungry now. Mm, I will mix now. first. Yeah. yeah. So how you how do you do it? Just mix, huh? Oh, this is how you eat it here. Yeah, you eat it dirty. Eat dirty. Wow, it's not so wrong, but it's nice. <laughs> I want to try the curry first. Wow, there's a bit of heat. Oh, oh it's hot. nice. Yeah. yeah. So now I want to try the stoppy joes. No, you just try the gravy first. Okay. Yeah. Oh, very different. Wow. Okay, sorry. I didn't, <laughs> yeah, <you see? laughs> I didn't know it was this spicy. Very amazing flavor. It really opens up my appetite. I'm gonna take another one more bite. But this is good. This is damn nice. You know? I can feel the spices. I'm gonna try the beef. Thank you. Oh, I can feel the heat now. Which one is spicier? I think this one is spicier than this one. Yeah, this one hits me right. very fast. My whole entire mouth is not spicy. But this one is still okay. Can okay, I take one more bite? Oh, it's spicy, right? It makes me want to eat some more. Yeah, I, I like mean, this mm. flavors instead of this. Mm. I'm a beef eater. So I, I love beef. This is my favorite at, at this point. A tad bit too spicy. So if you can't take spicy, please don't. We are back in Singapore. Yep. How was the entire trip for you? It was a good trip. It was amazing. I think the fun part about this trip is traveling with friends, going on a road trip, just going on an eating spree. Mm -hmm. And then after you get to see the sights and sounds of Penang. Basically, Penang was my first time in Penang. What's the most memorable food you have had during this trip? For some reason, when I came back, right, mm -hmm. it was always the nasi lemak that was locked into my brain. I wish I had more of that prawn me. I felt that it was nice, it's just that I was very full, so I didn't eat a lot of it. But I wish I had more of that. Three days, you know, it's really not enough to be in Penang. The time that we spent in Penang was not enough. In order for us to really try everything, I think you need at least about five days to a week in full, you know, to have the full Ping culinary Ping. experience. The Penang experience. Yeah. If you like this list, you can find it in the description. If you want to know more about what to eat and where to go, subscribe to us on YouTube. See you in the next video.